What's up everybody? This is Weapon X SJ. Uh, today we're gonna have a Let's Play. This is gonna be the intro to the Let's Play. The Let's Play is gonna be Sunset Riders on the Sega Genesis. This game is a side-scrolling shooter made by Konami. It's a uh, it's a lot like uh, Contra. It's basically a Contra style side shoot side scrolling shooter. Um, takes place in the old west, you're a cowboy. Um, originally this game was an arcade game. It had four playable characters. Um, and there's like eight stages in it. And you just go from stage to stage shooting stuff, just like Contra. Um, they ported it to the SNES and the Sega Genesis, which we're going to be playing. The SNES version is pretty much a direct port kind of out of the arcade. It's real similar. It has the same levels, although a lot of stuff is edited. Um, like uh, the Indian level is not with Indians in it. It's with cowboys because they don't want to be offensive, I guess. Um, the Sega Genesis version, there's a lot more differences. Like, uh, let's see, what else? I, don't, I never played the Super Nintendo version. I just read about the differences. But uh, there's girls in it, and the girls in the Sega Genesis and the arcade version are like in garters and stuff. They're like barflies, garters, like underwear, like hookers at a saloon. And they're wearing long dresses in the SNES version. It's kind of weird. Anyways, but the levels are the same. It's pretty much a port. The Sega Genesis version is like completely different. It doesn't have eight levels. It has four, but each four is split up into two levels. One where you run through a level and save a girl, and then you run through a level and fight the boss. So there's only four bosses as opposed to eight at the end of every level of the other ones. But uh, it gives the illusion of eight levels, and it's pretty much the same length because each level is split up into two stages. So four levels, two stages, there's four bosses. Um, and then I just remember playing this game in the arcade, you know, occasionally Chuck E. Cheese, whenever a kid had a birthday party or whatever, we'd play it. Um, and then eventually I played it believe it or not, on Sega Channel, before it was even out. I was at this event, it was like a boat racing event, and Sega Channel was promoting Sega Channel, and they had this big truck trailer where you can walk in and try out Sega Channel. It's the only time I've ever played it, and none of my friends had it when I was a kid. And we go on the Sega Channel, and you can pick a game, and one of the games I picked, I was like, well, what's the Sunset Riders game? I played it, I was like, I think I remember this game. I played this at, like, Chuck E. Cheese. And I was like, I never knew it was on Sega. Uh, shortly after that, me and my brother got it for Christmas or a birthday or from a pawn shop or something. And we would play it. You can do co-op, just like Contra, run around shooting things. So that's kind of my introduction to this. My story with how I found this out. I played in arcade, eventually played it on Sega Channel randomly, and then eventually got it on Sega Genesis. Um, so here we go. It's going to do a Let's Play of Sunset Riders on the Sega Genesis. We're going to run through the whole game here. So let's start playing. Okay, everybody. This is Sunset Riders. It's going to be a Let's Play. Um, this game's on Sega Genesis. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to options here. Go to five players. Oh, we already did that. We're gonna play on normal. Now this game's kind of hard. Um, uh, sometimes I play it no problem. Sometimes I have trouble. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get through this no problem. The trick is to get all the bonus rounds. If you get all the bonus rounds, you can get all the extra guys. You'll see what I'm talking about later. All right. So we're gonna play one player. Um, you can play two players co-op, just like Contra keeps going to the demo there or versus versus I don't think was in the Super Nintendo version just kind of added the Sega version where two guys are on the screen you just shoot each other shoot your friend <laughs> it keeps going to the demo that's uh, one of the guys you can play as so here we go one player all right you can play as Billy he has pistols um, there's basically two types of uh, things you Billy or Cormano who has shotguns Billy has two pistols they shoot like at a weird angle and they're a lot faster. Kermano has shotguns. They shoot like a spray of bullets. You'll see. We're going to play as Kermano. Um, the Nintendo, the SNES and arcade version had four players, but there's two basic type of players. Pistol users and shotgun users. So the other two are just kind of clones of the other two. So you only really need two people. But Billy or Kermano is on the Sega version. So we're going to play as Kermano. Alright, so here's the game. Here's the first level. Um, the buttons are C is jump, B is to fire, and if you hold B and move, you can fire and move at the same time. A is fire, but it plants yourself. See, right now I'm pressing fire and forward, but I'm staying in one spot. So you can shoot in all directions without moving, uh, which is kind of useful. But if you want to shoot in all directions, whenever you want, you can hold B and move around. You can move and shoot. Or A is whatever. Uh, C is jump. The only other move is this slide here. And you press diagonal down in whatever direction you want to slide and the jump button, which is C. There's some chickens running around there. Alright, so here we go. Level 1. These are the bad guys here. I just got a 
picture of a gun I just picked up, a little icon. You can go up and down on the levels here. This is like really useful. You don't shoot guys. But the icon I got was gun, so now I have two guns. You can see them in my hand. Two shotguns. Commando's cool because he's got this poncho. And he puts his guns away, he's hiding in his poncho, just whip them out real quick. Pretty awesome. Alright, there's a guy. He's just, the, that I just got is what you want to get in every level. That's the bonus star. It's going to let me do the bonus run at the end of this level. These double doors here, you can go in there. Uh, this girl will kiss you, and you get a power up. That little picture of a bullet I just got gives you rapid fire. So now I got two guns and rapid fire. This is basically all the power ups you can get. There's two guns, and then there's rapid fire. When you have them both, you just own. And that chick right there, this is what I was talking about. The SNES version, she's wearing like a long dress, but here she's wearing garter like underwear. She's like a bar fly. The SNES version doesn't have that. Alright, so I'm going to continue on here. I wasted too much time talking and explaining the game. Gotta start shooting fools. There's no more double doors I can go in. Let me get that. Give me some money. Money is basically points in this game. Bonus star. I already got it. So you can see it up on the uh, top left there on my life meter. Or there's no life meter. You get shot once you die. But uh, those guns up there are how many guys I have above the actual money count. So I have four guys. And then that star it means that I have the star for this level. And that I'm going to be able to do the bonus round at the end of this level. This part's kind of fun. You just stand up here, basically. But you're supposed to dodge the bulls. But on this part, you can just stand up here. Me and my brother, when we used to play this, we used to stand up here and just shoot the bulls as they run by. There's no point. You can just sit there. Bad guys. Oh, almost dead. Dynamite there. You can shoot the dynamite and make it go way faster. You can also pick up the dynamite if you're close to it. Which I try not to do. Because <laughs> you could die. Shoot more fools here. Haven't died yet. Doing good. She just gave me points. Which is all good. Because I still have both powers. Still have double guns and rapid fire. Die. This game's like Contra basically. With more emphasis on like shooting I guess. Than like running around and jumping. Oh! First death. That's not good. Should not have happened this early in this game. Alright, here come the bulls again, but this time you have to dodge and do what you're supposed to do in the other one. There's no building to stand up there and just watch them run by, though. So it's all good. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Alright, here we go. Can't die again. Okay, here's the end. So the end of stage, like, there's two parts to each stage. This is like stage 1-1. One -one. Um, there's a girl to save, and... Tons of guys are going to show up right now, so my advice at the end of the first stage is take it slow, kill them before, like if you just rush in, they're all going to pop out of every window, see like that, but I've killed most of them already, so now I can just go to the girl, but if I rush in, there would be hella guys when I get this girl. Thank you, nice boys. She gives you a kiss, and you save the girl, so that's like the end of stage 1-1, there's four stages and they're split up into two like this, and this is the boss. So, stage 1 dash 2, you fight a boss. So, in whatever dash 1, so X dash 1, you save a girl. X dash 2, you fight the boss for each of the four stages. X is my variable there. That's, uh, that's algebra for you folks. I went to school. I know that. Alright, those orange guys are the ones that throw dynamite, but I shot them before I had a chance to throw the dynamite. Go to double doors. What should give me? Rapid fire. That's cool. I could use that. Oh, shit. That shouldn't have happened. It's alright. I'm gonna pick up this rapid fire here. Whoa, lots of guys. I'll run in here and hide. It's cool when you come out of the double doors. Like, right now, I got temporary invincibility. So that was good, because there was hella guys there. Oh, that was stupid. I saw that gun. Alright, what do we got? Double guns. Thank you. I can use that. So every time you die, your power-ups go away. So I had rapid fire. Now I don't. But I just picked up double guns, so I got two guns, but I still have slow fire. There's the guy with the knives there. He just runs at you. What's cool about this game is uh, the contact with the enemies don't kill you. So if you touch an enemy, he doesn't kill you. Like, that guy will only kill me when he has his knife out and swipes it at me. And the guys with the guns, I can walk through them. It's only their bullets I can't touch. There's a bonus star. I don't need it. I still have that star. So at the end of stage dash one two, or one dash two, I'm going to do the bonus level, which is pretty awesome. 
and that's where you're gonna rack up all the guys, and that's how I'm gonna beat the game. Like if I don't do, if I miss a bonus level, like miss a star in one of the levels, I may not beat the game. I need all the bonus levels and all the extra mans. Points, thanks, bitch. Thanks for the kiss. Those are cheap hookers at the bar. They only cost like a nickel back in the old west. So you go and give a nickel and do what you will. And get a kiss at the end. And if you're lucky, an icon with a picture of a bullet, so your guns will shoot faster. <laughs> Cross the bridge here. Shoot all these guys. Give the guy with the bag, drops the power up, double guns, already had it. Alright, here comes the first boss. He's behind this barricade. <laughs> 